What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy, Uncle Brizza. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm having this. Uh, I'm completely having this Project Cars fascination thing going on. I just can't get enough of it. And uh, a lot of people have been asking, man. I guess people trust my opinion on racing games for whatever reason. So everyone's been asking me to, uh, you know, how does it compare to Forza and and uh, mainly Forza because you, you guys know I'm a big I'm a big Forza fan. So you know, here, here it goes. Let's 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 really let's dive in and see what the differences are. I, I mean, this is gonna be this is gonna be a shocker to some. On others, it's gonna make total complete sense. Uh, Forza is a simulator, yes, or simulation racing game, yes, but they are far superior simulators uh, on the market. And, and I'm looking at Gran Turismo and um, a set of Corsa on the PC and now Project Cars. But let's not, let's, I don't say that to undermine Forza. Uh, you know, the things that make a simulator are simulated physics <laughs> uh, to me real world cars it has to feel it has to feel like physics uh, and, and just real life and real feel like real life and sound like real life and and you know that's that's always been dope and I think Forza from day one fell into that category but part of why I really love Forza was a lot of what was around it even though it wasn't the best simulator on the market you know they did a good job at the customization of making the car your own and that's something that they really pushed hard in Forza 2 and coming out of Forza 2 into 3 to 4 to 5 it's a community you know that that's come to expect you know paint jobs and tunes and and unique setup of cars and even some unique setups coming from from the developers so that that's a lot of the allure to Forza what really and you know they've done a lot of dope stuff around the avatars and and the time trials so I don't ever want to take anything away from Forza but I, I feel like when you're talking simulation uh, this game right here is, is completely on another level and I have to justify that because I'm a Forza whore and this was part of a point that Snow had a long time ago. He always said that uh, Forza 5 could have been on the Xbox 360. And he was right. It, it was pretty much Forza 4 with less of the content, but bumped up graphics. And, you know, that point was validated when you look at the physics. Uh, a lot of the physics that went on in Forza 5 and and the tune in and whatnot it was the exact same and that was one of my main disappointments in forza 5 uh i i felt like the, with the next gen we should be you know if you're gonna let me tune then let me go wild i i want to i want to do ecu map and i want to control waste gates get a boost control in there i want to put gauges for for uh you know for psi gauges and oil temperature gauges in the car in the in dash view there's none of that so Forza 5 literally was a, a pretty a pretty showcase for the Xbox One. Uh, this, however, Project Cars feels like a next generation uh, simulator built from the ground up for this generation. I, I mean, there's very there's very little I can say that will really convey how sweet this game feels. And for those of you on a PC who played something like Corsetta, what is, I forget the name of that fucking game every time. Uh, whatever the Corsetta, oh, <laughs> you, I just said the name like two minutes ago. Uh, that's a hardcore simulator. And my problem with the PC simulators, I've always said in the past, is they weren't fun. They weren't polished. Uh, I, I see your fucking 100% realism physics engine, but... God damn, driving in real life is fun. This shit here is like hard work. And I think Project Cars has a dope balance between the two. And it, it's it just works. For instance, in the in the other videos that you'll see when I push this, where I was really pushing the well trying to push because I'm still learning the game and it's it's fucking difficult. When I was pushing this same Audi, 
you know, I, I could stop and take, I can take the, uh, the traction off. I can take the, uh, the ABS off on the fly, which I think is super dope. There will be none of that in Forza. You got to set it and forget it. And I don't think that'll make it to the console version. I think it's because of the PC and you have so many, uh, keys on your keyboard to map. You can do things like that. Uh, you can even like bring your chair up and forward and adjust the height of your chair in the car. It's crazy. Um, so things like that. And then to see like when you turn off the, when you turn off the, the traction, right? The car feels totally and utterly completely different. For instance, coming around a corner, you actually see where the wheels, if you're making a hard right turn, you see where the wheels on the inside sort of start to break traction, but the wheels on the left never break because you see the car, the traction is, is taking power away from the right and adding it to the left to pull the car through. That was so dope to see in this game. Like you can visually see it. You can feel it in the controller. That's, that's super dope. And then you turn the traction off and <laughs> good luck, you're on your own. You better not get off that throttle because you're at the mercy of all-wheel drive now. So you got to power through until it kills you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's dope. Whereas in something like Forza, you turn off the traction in, in each car, it just feels like traction's off. Don't get me wrong. Some cars power over a lot more than others. And sure, there's a difference. But here, it's just emphasized so much more, you know, with, with the... With each car, they feel completely different in the front wheel drive. You know, what we're driving the Ford Focus, you've got that, um, you've got the torque stair, you can feel it, you got the huge understair, and it's it's the same, it's the same uh, if you're a car guy or you're a huge simulator fan, you really have to respect the the uh the throttle when racing front wheel drive, or you'll just invoke a shitload of understair. Uh, I think that's so dope, and it's emphasized a lot more in Project Cars. Now, in terms of graphics, I mean, uh, it's not its not even close. We don't know what Forza 6 looks like right now. Uh, I expect Forza 6 to be very pretty. Uh, Forza 5 is very pretty, but this game is just in a league of its own right now. Jesus Christ. This might be outside of like the, the Metal Gear, what was it, the Ground Heroes, the last Metal Gear? Uh, this might be the prettiest fucking game I've seen thus far. Uh, and don't, don't, don't fucking flame bait me. I haven't seen all these other PC shit, dying light and all this shit. I'm just saying it's the best looking, the prettiest game I've seen personally. Uh, it's, it's a great looking game. I mean, like, if you look at it right now, uh, focusing on the, 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 yeah, focusing on the taillights. And you'll, you'll see the environment reflecting in that. You, you can even focus in on things like the draw distance, the shadows of the trees on the top of the car. It's, it's just, the game's beautiful, man. Uh, I don't, I think it'll hold up across the, the consoles. Uh, you saw the video I did with the, if you didn't go watch it. Uh, with the the Xbox being 900p upscale to 1080, and you've got the PlayStation coming home 1080p. Uh, they both run at 60 frames a second, which is the important thing when you're talking racing games. So I expect I expect the the graphic fidelity to hold up across the board. Uh, it's it's a pretty game sound wise. I I gotta give it to Project Cars again. I mean these cars sound fucking insane. I. I <laughs> There's a much I you know what I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Just listen to this. I mean, there's this, and again, Forza sounds awesome, and Forza does a great job with sound, and it's amazing, but you got to respect the next level when you hear it. This is the next level. The thing sounds amazing, man. 
a lot of the cars there's just monstrous roar to some of them then there's like the Mitsubishi that's just got this brutal like deep like yeah I'm on it I'm on it I'm on it you know it, it really this is the first game in a long time that has uh, it invoked the intensity when I was playing it uh, everything just meshed well together the graphics the 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 frame rate and but the sound is really what drives you harder and harder when playing this thing i, I think it's amazing uh i think it sounds a little better than grid and that to me grid grid 2 grid autosport that was the best sound and racing game on the market and this kind of outs that I, I really enjoy and when you're you're switching so there's actually there's three cockpit views uh yeah there's three in dash views uh, one is the regular one everyone's seen. The second one is sort of way back by like the the midsection of the car, so you can see both the you know you see the driver, you see his feet, you can see the other the passenger seat, and then the third is actually in the driver's helmet. All three of these have completely different sounds, and then you get outside the car and it's like oh my god, like you never want to stop, and it. it it's crazy how it you just want to get closer and closer to the uh, to the AI cars just to hear them just to hear the mix of your car and that car going at it it's man the sound is amazing definitely better than Forza and, and I, I love me some Forza man but I gotta I gotta give the sound to this shit uh, Hey, there's there's a lot more uh, if you want to talk about car selection obviously Forza's got it one of the things uh, that, that I can tell this game is gonna really really uh, wear thin for me is I, I like everyday cars you know I like JDM cars a lot too but I like to be able to get a super to get a skyline uh, this this is more like the professional racing league cars in here and some some other dope shit and supercars you're not gonna find like you know bone stock m3 versus a skyline or any of that type of shit that project gotham set up uh or forza even you could do that and and there's no you know there's no real classes set up for the car there is but not not in the traditional sense of forza i, I think the classes are more uh i don't know i I have to take a deeper look at that in the career. I didn't really start the career, but the class there's there's a class system. Like right now, you can tell. So when I select these cars, I told to keep it in the same class. So there's like a Mustang and some other random shit in the Aston Martin. Uh, there'd be like a Ford somewhere in there. So th there's classes, but not as organized, I should say, as Forza Five. But um, I would kill. I would kill. For this game to be able to to really bring it back down to earth and get some everyday cars in here um got to give that to forza you know if, if if you're into that world where you just have to have as much cars as possible and you want you want to touch and drive everything and forza is still that um in terms of tuning there's some tuning some adjustments you can make to your uh your suspension your brakes uh but it's not to the level of Forza. And, you know, I, I think with a simulator like this, I played around with it a little bit. And some of the changes I made made the fucking car damn near uh, undrivable. So I'm not going to say that it's not to the level of Forza. It's just not to the... You don't have the wide array of things to tune. But the tuning that is in this game seems to make a difference. And this is not something that I can master. I mean, it took me like five years to figure out tuning in Forza and really get to the point where people trust my tunes. But this is a this is a completely different animal. I'm going to have to learn this from scratch and really take my time. And I'm looking forward to it. But it's not as extensive as Forza for sure. Uh, in terms of online mode, we're going to wait for a lot of that stuff to really hit the market to see. But I dig it. I dig it. I think it's... Forza 6, I don't know much about it, and I'm really hoping they knock it out the ballpark. And But I expect that this game will, will seriously take me all the way through to Forza 6. And I, I think I'll be very happy with this game, man. This is definitely... This is definitely... Coming out the gate with something like this, it's amazing to see them nail 
the physics down, the feel of the game, the speed of the game, the sound. And they still got a bunch of shit in there that, that's just eye candy. Look at the exhaust coming out of that fucking pipe. Man, I love this game. Holler at me in the comments, boys. If, if, you, you know, if you're a Forza fan, you're really thinking about this, hit me with some questions. I'm happy to answer them. Like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to the channel, man. Just don't pass by. Subscribe. We got a lot more content coming. It's your boy, Uncle Rizza. I'm out of here. Peace.